Good morning and welcome to Southern Sports Network. I am Lindsay Settlemeyer here to update you on the latest in Moccasin Sports News. The women's volleyball team was busy this past week. They played against Rollins on Tuesday, losing the first set, but coming back to win the next three. Leading the team was freshman Nicole Matson with 15 kills. On Friday, the team played against Nova Southeastern, where they unfortunately lost three sets to two. The girls came back with a win on Saturday against Lynn, where they won three straight sets. Sophomore Anna Tubbo led the team with 12 kills. The Florida Southern men's basketball team played an exhibition game against Division I national champion Duke University on Friday night. While the mocks fell to the Blue Devils, Coach Mike Donnelly said the game was not about the end result, but working together as a team. The men kick off their first game of the regular season on Friday, November 13th, after playing another exhibition game against Division I Syracuse on November 8th. The men's golf team played last week at Rio Pinar in Orlando, where the boys placed fourth out of 22 teams. Leading the team was sophomore Jimmy Jones, who finished fifth overall at seven under for the tournament. Speaking of golf, I have both the men's and women's coaches with me today. Coach Gordon has been the men's head coach since 1995 and has led the team to five Division II championships. Coach Davis has been the women's head coach since 1997 and has led the team to four Division II championships. We are happy to have you both today. Okay, guys, well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you All so right, much. let's see, let's start with men's. So how did you feel about the fall season for the boys? I thought we played very consistent. Uh, you know, we didn't win a tournament, uh, but we had all top five finishes and didn't have a really bad tournament, so I, I thought it went pretty well. All right, that's good. And how are you going to translate the fall season into the spring season? Well, hopefully we'll get better. <laughs> that's the idea. But uh, I, I think that uh, through the experience of, of some of our freshmen uh, getting in the lineup this fall, that that ought to help us in the spring and have let us have a chance to, to win a few tournaments in the spring. All right, yes. Let's talk about how young your team seems to be. I know your powerhouse is really in that sophomore class. So what are you doing with them to turn them into leaders? Or how are they already leaders on the team? Well, it's kind of interesting that I've never had this, this young a team. So I, I told those sophomores that uh, even though they're not upperclassmen, they are the leaders. And uh, they've, they've done a good job. And you know, you lead by example. And they've certainly done that on the golf course. And, and they're starting to play a leadership role off the golf course, too. All right. Thank you very much now. Transitioning over into women's, how did you feel about the fall season? Well, Lindsay, we didn't have our best fall season uh, that we've had in a while here, but uh, I look forward to what we can do in the spring. You know, we have we have flashes of brilliance when we play at times. We just haven't been able to put it together. Right. So what are you going to try to improve on for the spring season? Well, hopefully getting the right mix of players in. We've played a lot of different people in each of the events, and uh, with that, trying to find the right five that will play together and produce the best scores. Where uh, do you see the leadership on your team? Well, definitely we have five seniors and actually one redshirt senior that's going to be playing next year. So we have great leadership and we have a lot of talent. It's just we need to put it all together. All right. Sounds great. I'm really excited to see you guys all in the spring season. The fall season may be over for our golf teams, but we're excited to see what they will do in the spring. Thank you again to Coach Gordon and Coach Davis for joining me today. That's it for today's show. I'm Lindsay Settlemeyer, and this has been Southern Sports Network. See you next week.